Well, hello everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to PBM Money. Today, I want to address something that everybody talks about, but I don't think most average people understand why inflation is so dangerous and detrimental to our country. And in this video, I'm going to try to break it down. When we talk about inflation, we all we think about is prices are going up, okay? And that's true, but that's not the danger. Stuff happens and prices go up, costs go up, that's life. But in this, there's something much more insidious behind this, and I want to um, draw you a picture. 30 years ago, we had three distinctive classes upper, lower, and middle. And by far, the middle class was the largest of both, all three. There was a few at the top, a, more at the bottom, but the majority was in the middle class. Now, when inflation happens, but first off, I want to explain why inflation happens. Inflation happens because you've got too much money chasing too few goods. In other words, the government is spending and printing way too much money. The logical conclusion to that is prices go up. Let me make it easier. If I had a pencil for sale <clears throat> and I charged a dollar for it and I had 37 people wanted to pay a dollar for that pencil, I'm going to raise my price to two dollars. Now I'm only going to have 20 people but if 20 people still want to pay, I'm going to raise my price to $3, okay? Now, what happens if I charge $3 for that pencil? There's a lot of people that can't afford $3 for a pencil, so they drop out. When inflation happens, I want to explain what happens to each class. The lower class they depend more and more on government handouts. And when they have a fixed amount of money coming in, and there are certain things that they have to buy, something gets squeezed out. The classic example is the retired person having to choose between medicine and food, or they eat cat food. These are real things that happen to real people because prices go up, now they can't afford to, to buy chicken. Now they have to buy cat food. That's a real thing. When prices go up for the middle class, we have the, the middle class people start to make choices. As an example, when prices go up and you have kids, you have to choose. Does she go to ballet class or does she do a sport at school that's free. I know that sounds silly, but middle class still has to make decisions. Am I going to buy a car this year? Because I buy a car, a new car, every five years. Can I afford to buy one this year? Or am I going to run this one into the ground? These are the decisions that middle class people make. Now, the important part of this class system is to know that in the middle class, there's an upper middle class, a middle class, and a lower middle class. Inflation hits the lower middle class the hardest, and here's why. Lower middle class is right on the cusp of poverty. They're still working, they're still paying their bills, they're still living a life, but it's a struggle. It's a real struggle. These are the folks that don't go out to eat very often. Uh, they they uh, eat at home. They don't have a lot of entertainment. They do a lot of stuff for free. When prices start to go up, they fall into the lower class. So now, and now when the upper class when prices go up in the upper class, what happens to them? Now, you might think nothing happens to them because they've got plenty of money. They can afford things. Yes, yes, that's true. 
But when prices go up for the average person, here's something I bet you didn't know. The prices on luxury items go down because they have less people wanting to buy boats and luxury cars and expensive jewelry. So the prices go down because there's no, nobody's wanting to buy them because nobody's got the, the money. The interest rates on their invested money in CDs, bonds, those rates go up. Before this inflation hit, a bank was paying 0.01% interest on their savings. Two years later, I can get a CD for 5% for just a few months. I don't have to invest that money for years. Seven month CD, 5.11%. Go do it tomorrow. If you've got a lot of money invested, that's a lot of, that is a lot of money. You're making five times the money you were making just two years ago. Also, the upper class usually has real estate investments. When prices go up, rents go up. And when rents go up, the upper class makes the money. So inflation favors the upper class, destroys the lower class, and eliminates the middle class. Now here is the secret insidious thing about inflation. It's no accident. It's done on purpose. And if you don't believe me, I want you to go back all the way to the 1960s and follow inflation versus what party's in power. The biggest inflation I have ever seen and witnessed in my life was in the late 1970s. Mortgage rates were 21%. I know because I bought them. We didn't have computers, so the grocery, the prices on groceries changed daily. So when you went to get canned goods, I always reached to the back of the shelf to, and looked at the price. And there was always a huge difference just in a week, and we shopped every week. That's how bad inflation was. So the insidious part of this is it's no accident. And you ask yourself, well, what's the goal? Because they want to get rid of the middle class and they're doing a damn good job of it. The middle class now is not the majority class in this country. Well, you say, well, why do they want to eliminate the middle class? If you have no middle class and all you have is the lower class depending on the government, and that's the key, and then you have the upper class that can charge whatever they want because there's no middle class competition. You have a ruling class and you have a servant class and that's the goal. So when we say inflation is bad, there's an easy way to fight inflation for you and me. Don't play the game. Don't buy the stuff. If you don't buy it, it's going to sit on the shelf. And if it sits on the shelf long enough, they'll start lowering the prices. Don't play the game. Put, put off buying that car. Put off buying that house. Start going to discount food places to buy your groceries. Stop going out to restaurants. I went out to McDonald's the other day uh, for my friend. I don't go to McDonald's. One Big Mac and an order of fries. Over 10 bucks. And I'm in the Midwest. I am not on the coast. I went to the gas station to get a pack of cigarettes from my friend at work. One pack of Marlboros. 10 bucks. Just 10 years ago, when I was a smoker, a pack of Marlboros cost $3.50. Don't play the game. Now you know why inflation is dangerous. It doesn't have anything to do with prices going up. It has to do with eliminating the middle class and the insidious part is it's on purpose. That's all I wanted to talk about. You guys have a great day, a great week, and happy investing.